Generally for the year, I walk the farm once a week. I suppose in the springtime, I do one walk in January, then I start walking more regularly from the middle of February on, once the sun starts shining and the ground starts drying out. In the middle of the summer, I could go walking the farm every five days, depending on where the growth rate is at. If things get tight, I walk more regularly. If things, I suppose, if growth explodes, I walk more regularly because then I can make the choices of taking out paddocks if it's going ahead of me or to introduce silage or more meal if it's not growing to where I need it to be. So when I put my figures into pasture base and I update the wedge, I go back and I recalculate, uh, I see what amount of ration I have in, my allocation of grass to make sure it's correct. If I can see from it that the average farm cover is dropping below a level that it needs to be, I can increase the ration or I can put in silage which I've had to have done before. When we took out a lot of ground last year, we took out 10 acres for our reseeding and we did pinch ourselves in the middle of May. We went in with silage for 10 days. Uh, it didn't upset the cows. Everything was able to stay going. If I hadn't been grass measuring, I probably wouldn't have gone in with silage early enough. I'd have probably driven the average farm cover down into the ground and I would have gone into a bit of a tailspin. So to me, I can calculate uh, if I do my grass walk on a Monday, I'll know where the cows are going. Um, up to Friday, Saturday, I can go put up wires if things are tight. If things aren't tight, then they'll be going into uh, paddock and getting tree grazings out of it. But I can make a plan, put it in place. If Caitlin's bringing in the cows, if Joe's bringing in the cows, everybody knows where everything is going and how many feeds are in each paddock. The ideal cover that I like to go into is covers of 1400. I find that the cows perform best, um, uh, clean outs are very good at it. If I find that there's covers of 16 and 1700 coming in front of me, I take a look at the wedge and see if I can take that paddock out and keep, uh, keep cows in the cover of the 1400. The other thing that I find is we graze, we have a good few paddocks with Abergain and I find that if I go into covers that are 17, 1800, that the cows don't find the grass as palatable. So 1400 is the nice round figure. At the start of 2020 or any other given year, I don't set out to say, I have to get 10 grazings done per paddock. It's great to be able to get 10 grazings per paddock, but it's probably because we're constantly going into 1400 covers that the 16s and the 17s are being taken out. There's bales being made out of them. The rotation say, stays fine and nifty, but it's not a parameter that I say that everybody has to meet.